All right, Macho Man Ryan Effort. What's going on, man? Hey, not too much. Ready to talk some WrestleMania IC title match. And uh, you got the most fitting guy to talk WrestleMania IC title match. You think that this, we'll get into a little bit, but this match could live up to that kind of hype you got going over there if you can dig it, right? Hopefully. I'm not, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Look at, look at my string. You know, you think I would do? Why don't you look, hook a brother up? Let him know his string's all fucked up. I'm trying to look good here. Can't look as good as you, I guess, right? Yeah, you know, cream of the crop. <laughs> all right. Let's see how we got here, buddy. All right. Gunther has been the Intercontinental Champion since June 2022. He's in the midst of the most iconic Intercontinental run in modern history. Shit has had two superior title matches with Gunther, first being a match of the year candidate at Clash of the Castle and a rematch at the premier SmackDown in Worcester, Massachusetts. Great city, by the way. The Intercontinental Championship is one belt that he has yet to capture. Drew was a former Intercontinental Champion way back in December 2009 to May 2010. A friendly tag team turned sour after Drew, after Drew showed interest and became Intercontinental Champion again. Both became number one contenders after a no contest, but the other members of Imperia jumped in when the gun in the midst of disputing a 10 count. Uh, this is a, re a really weird, convoluted, kind of silly way to get there, but this is also yeah. coming off that five way where it was LA Knight, Xavier, and uh, Ricochet. No, I don't think so. We'll figure it out. But, anyways, um, oh, Carrion Cross. Fitting that's that we it. fitting that we forget yeah, him. That's a common theme for him right now. Yeah, but then they had the double pin where which extended him to the next week. But is Gunther looking kind of a little weird here where he's disputing I want a singles match at WrestleMania? And then he looks weird jumping in the ring saying, I need my singles match. So this I kind of think Gunther is a little bulletproof, but are they kind of making him look a little eh? generic in a way with this the way how they got here yeah it's kind of weird like they built him up to the point where it's almost hard to believe one guy is going to beat him so i kind of get why they're doing a triple threat but yeah him you knew you kind of knew when they were doing the two last guys in the number one competitors that there was going to be some screwy finish where it was going to be a triple threat yeah, and I kind of I was just kind of expecting Imperium to jump in and attack both of them, and they kind of changed it a little bit, but basically did that. Yeah, just a little. I don't know. It just feels like if we're setting them up for success in the future, why do we kind of why can't he just embrace it instead of kind of looking for I don't know, weird putting him in a vulnerable spot? But I don't know. He's bulletproof. Anyways, so a guy that's kind of in a vulnerable spot in a way, but not necessarily is Drew. Yeah. Am I crazy if I told you Drew McIntyre would be a heel by, say, June? He needs to do something because it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, two years ago he was one of the biggest guys, you know, the opening match, but it was the other title match against Bobby Lashley. And then last year at WrestleMania, he's facing Happy Corbin. And <laughs> it's like the fall he had then. And, He's kind of spent the last year building back up, but like there's no more room for him at the top of the card, I think. Like him versus Roman's been done. Him versus Cody, maybe. You could have something there as a potential challenger. But yeah, I think if they're going to go that way, they'd have to make him uh, at least change the character a little bit. Even not necessarily full heel, but if he, if he maybe... Um, switched a little bit to more of like a tweener kind of ass kicker that he was. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, the with him, I don't think he necessarily changed. I think the landscape changed on him. So for him to kind of fit in, he needs to kind of go to the other side of the fence. All right. These three guys are, are kind of special. Like I can see this going three ways, right? You can drew, maybe drew accelerates this heel turns and wins. Sheamus gets his moment. Gunther can, is dominance. Yeah. Is there a wrong answer there? Is what if someone wins, is it is it wrong in your opinion? Not necessarily, except I think if uh Gunther gets pinned, I think that's a mistake. That's a very that's a very, very, very good point. And at the end of the day, maybe they went the three-man route just so that happened. And yeah. it, 
save a pin, save that pin on Gunther, get him up the card later in the year when we need him. Yeah, and then you could also do, you know, I'm I'm looking at this as a match that's going to have big influence on Money in the Bank being in, uh, I think, I believe London, yep, in yep. the end of or the beginning of June, I think, is it in the middle of summer somewhere? Yeah, I mean, I think one way there's going to be a match between either two of these guys or maybe a rematch triple threat if they're not competing for the money in the re- money in the bank briefcase. So I could see, you know, Drew gets the pin here over Sheamus, but it's kind of tricky. So then they're going to have, you know, maybe a half hour Iron Man match or something. Yeah. Something. You know, cause yeah. you got, you should have those guys hooked up and they're going to have a big spotlight on them for that show. Yeah, too. All right. So we're here. What night I ask everyone who's doing these previews, these three generic questions, which night, do you see this match falling and where on the card? Up um, the middle, towards the end. I'm going to go with night one because I think John Cena, Austin Theory will be night two. Okay. So I think you want to split up your two secondary titles. As for time, I think it would be like, let's say we start at seven. Probably like around nine, maybe eight thirty. Not so midway. So about midway through the card, kind of third matches around third, the third fourth match. Yeah, I think like you start with a bigger match, and then maybe you got one of those tag title matches or tag yeah. the f- fatal four ways they're throwing in there. Fluff it, and then yeah, hit another home. And maybe come back hard with like a match like this. Cool. All right. Uh expectations high there's not much story here but right. they don't really need it they don't really need a story yeah i uh, mean if they just have these guys beating the hell out of each other that'll be fine by me will it live up to that hype of let's see let's see uh, the tier system could this be an s tier match if that's the expectation do you think they could deliver there i think that would be tough just because like the s matches that you know the tier makers i think it's very hard to have a all-time match where it's not doesn't have at least a good storyline going into it. I know. I understand that the, the storyline is lacking, but you could get the moment with Sheamus, just the overall quality of the match, the dominance of Drew Star Power. I know S tier is with the stories, but I think we at least get an A tier out of this. Yeah, I think I'd be very upset if it's a four star only match. Like I'm thinking the one thing they could do that would be bad would be kind of a WrestleMania 22 Mysterio versus Orton versus Angle. Yeah, was it, was this, yeah. it was it was awesome for the first eight minutes, but it was an eight and a half minute match, which I mean, the big thing at that WrestleMania was leading to <laughs> Rey Mysterio, you know, avenging Eddie and he wins like a transition match, basically. What, nine minutes tops? Yeah, and that, I mean, those three guys could have easily gone. Oh, you know, they would have twenty-five oh. minutes easily. Well, these guys got a little more different style. Yeah, than that. I could see, like, at least have it go like fifteen, though. Just hard yeah. hitting. You know, maybe I, at one yeah. point I could see Sheamus and Drew like suplexing Gunther through the table. Mm-hmm. And those two go at it for a while, and then Gunther comes back. Something like the the yep. Brock formula that they've done in triple threat matches with him. I think Triple H want to put, wants to put this on a stage to kind of be yeah. at least match of the night, one of the nights, you know. So we'll see. We'll see where where it's. I think it'll be slotted in a good spot to get there. I know I'm high with that S tier prediction, <laughs> but it's just more of me. Just I'm pretty optimistic here, despite the yeah. story. No, All I right. think that Bell the Bell. It should be one of the top yeah. three matches. I would say of the weekend. All right, who's winning? Uh it's tough. Which Sheamus, I think. I think they're going to give Sheamus his his moment. Get, let him get the a grand slam. I guess it would be. We'll call it sure. Yeah. Old school yeah. grand slam. Like, yeah, we'll yeah, he's that. got like eight titles, but we'll call it a grand slam. Yeah. How about the little guy? Does he make a prediction? What's right. asking? Drew, Sheamus, or Gunther? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> He'd go with Bluey probably if he could. Bluey. Uh, yeah. Bluey. Bluey, all right. <laughs> the guy in blue trunks. We'll go with that. Uh I think Seamus might Seamus pinning Drew. Yeah. 
I kind of agree with that. But I would I wouldn't rule out Drew Drew winning and then just kind of get starting that little uh, knife in the back action, you know, the, for later down the road. I would. I could see. Yeah, definitely. Out. It may, would make sense if like you know Sheamus hits the broke kick and Gunther, and then Drew just rolls up Sheamus or something. That would be a good way to like do a little crappy heel roll up to finish a big brawling match for sure. All right, Ryan, we're getting out of here. You got anything to plug? Uh, not really with this ring on the place to be nation wrestling website podcast will be coming out next week, right before WrestleMania with us, me and my wife going back and looking at WrestleMania 14. So oh, cool. Pretty good. Yep. Definitely a top tier WrestleMania there. So definitely. Yep. All right, Ryan. Thank you very much. And we'll All catch right. you soon, buddy. Sounds good.